welcome back to my garden and welcome to day one of my holidays in the garden series. I am so excited about this series. I've been planning it since about June or July and I am excited to get it going. What I am planning is I'm planning 25 days of holiday themed garden content, including DIYs, house decorating, outdoor decorating, and then garden things that I'm doing around the holiday season. And I hope you all will join me for all 25 days. It's gonna be five days a week, Monday through Friday, right up until Friday, December 23rd. Now, my family and I, of course, celebrate Christmas, so it is going to be mostly Christmas-centric, and I hope you all, if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you all can get some inspiration out of the DIYs and the, and the other activities that we do during this series anyway. So I wanted to kick off day one with a gardener's gift guide, 10 gifts for the gardener. I wanted this video to come out as early as possible so that all of you have plenty of time to order these gifts and get them to your loved ones. If you are new to this channel and you're just tuning in for the gift guide, welcome. I hope you all get some good inspiration. Everything that's on my guide, I either use and love, I've purchased it for a loved one that also loves gardening, or it's on my very own wish list and I want one myself. All right, so let's get into it. The first item on my gift guide is a shash, I hope I'm saying that right, shash bore bristle nail brush. You all know that those of us as gardeners, we have <laughs> the worst nails. I literally have some type of dirt underneath my nails every day just because I'm always out in the garden. And if I'm not in the garden, if I'm walking from here to there and I see a weed, I will immediately bend over and, and pick that weed just to stay on top of it. But that's that means that my nails are just gross all the time. So I have used those cheapo acrylic nail brushes that you know you get from the dollar store, things like that. They just don't work. They just don't get the dirt from underneath my nails. So I knew that I wanted to invest in a really good nail brush and I was researching what some good ones are. And this one is from the Shash Company, which is based out of Germany. They're a hundred year old company and they use natural boar bristles and ash wood and so it is a very very good quality nail brush. The thing that I love the most about this nail brush is they have this top row of really short bristles that do an excellent job of cleaning your nails. It actually gets the dirt out of your nails. I use this side way more than I use this side and it definitely definitely works. The shash boar the Shash Bore Bristle Nail Brush is $32. I will leave the links for every single item that I talk about in the description down below. So number two on my list is actually two different options, and that is a gardener's hand cream. So the first thing I have is the tried and true, we all know this, the Crabtree and Evelyn Gardener's Ultra Moisturizing Hand Therapy. I remember my mom giving this as gifts when I was a little kid. I think I even got this from my mom when I was a kid as a gift as well. Our mall had a Crabtree and Evelyn store in it. Now, you cannot find Crabtree and Evelyn anywhere, at least in the United States. I have so such a hard time finding this brand. What I did find is I did find this tiny little tube of the Gardener's Hand Therapy, um, Gardener's Therapy Hand Cream, and I thought that this would be a perfect gift to throw in a gardener's stocking stuffer. It's very tiny, it's less than an ounce, um, but it's that classic Gardener's Hand Cream that we all know and love. Everybody say hi to Dwight. <laughs> Are you going to join us? Now, another option to Gardner's hand cream is this Heathcote and Ivory in the Garden Gardener's Everyday Barrier Cream. It's this stuff right here. It comes in this super, super cute packaging that was actually designed by an English artist. Um, I just love this stuff. Now, mom and grandma, if you're watching this, turn it off. <laughs> because you're both getting this in your gifts this year. So what it is, it's this really, really thick cream that you're supposed to put on your hands actually before you go out into the garden, and it's gonna protect your hands and keep your hands from getting dry and keep them from getting you know, all ragged if you don't use gloves or even if you do use gloves. And then after you get inside and you wash your hands, you can put it on again uh, to replenish all the moisture in your hands. So I actually bought one of these for myself and I've been using it all the time every time I go out into the garden and I'm absolutely loving this stuff. 
Number three on my list of gifts for the gardeners is, of course, the garden marker. Now, this is another small gift. It's it's actually less than $5. You can get it off Amazon. I thought that this would be another great gift for a stocking stuffer or put it kind of in a little package with other small gifts. I did not think I needed one of these garden markers. I thought I could get away with a Sharpie. I thought everybody was just being extra when they purchased one of these and used one of these. But once I finally got one and I started using it, I'm, I'm using it on the plant tags in my flower field. Yeah, there's a difference. It really, really does make a difference. And whatever, whoever is that gardener in your life, once you get this for them, I think that they would really, really appreciate it and think about you every time they use this in the garden. So number four on my list is gardening gloves. Now, every gardener needs gardening gloves, doesn't have enough gardening gloves, would love to have some more gardening gloves. So it is the perfect gift. Did you guys see the bunny just run by? <laughs> She's outside playing. Um, so the first ones I want to show you, these are digs. These, mom, don't watch this. I'm telling you, don't watch this. These I got for my mom for Christmas. I'm going to do like a whole little gardener's gift set for her. Um, I just thought that these were so, so beautiful. I love the pattern. This digs brand has a lot of different patterns. These are more high performance. These are much thicker than the gardening gloves that I personally like to use. Um, they are touchscreen compatible, which I thought was pretty cool um, but I, they're really really good quality gloves the ones that I personally would like now these were sent to me everything on this list I've purchased myself or want to purchase myself except for two things and one of them is these cool job gardening gloves from the cool job brand you can get them off Amazon they sent some gloves for for me to use in my PO box and um, I've just been kind of using them because of course you know you can never have enough gardening gloves but every time I grab them out of my stack of gloves I find that I really really enjoy them I think that they're really comfortable they work really well they're breathable rubber coated gardening gloves machine washable and air dry and I of course will leave the link down below the third type of glove that I think would be perfect for a gift is gardeners rose pruning gloves now I actually got these for Christmas last year I love them especially when I'm pruning my bougainvillea or my roses because the leather comes so far up you're you're not going to get your skin all scratched up on your forearms right here. So they are kind of a specialty gardening glove, um, which I actually think is perfect for a gift because it's something that a gardener usually won't purchase for themselves. So you can purchase this for them and I'm sure that they will enjoy it and use it all the time. Okay, number five on my list is a gardener's lifetime tool. Now, what I mean by this is you can go to the store, you can go to like Walmart or, you know, the dollar store and you can get a trowel there and it's cheap and it's going to work but it's not gonna last. It's not going to be a good tool and it's not gonna be something that a gardener can rely on. What is something a gardener can rely on is a lifetime really, really strong tool. And I really think that this DeWitt brand is the way to go. They are made in Holland. They are so strong. They're steel, so they're going. They're, they're lifetime guaranteed. So basically, if, if anything goes wrong with this tool in the gardener's lifetime, they can get a replacement which I think is fantastic. These are actually the tools that are sold by Gardner Supply Company. They're just under their name, but this is the brand that makes those tools. So this is the Forged Transplant Trowel. This is another thing that I'm getting from my mom for Christmas. It's just a narrower trowel so that when you want to move something from, you know, transplant something from one place to another, this one's a little bit more narrow. It's just, it's a fantastic tool. I have the regular size trowel and then I actually have the mini trowel and I absolutely love those tools and I can't wait to get more of these tools. I want to build up my collection. So having said that, I think a fantastic gift would be the DeWitt three tool bundle with holder. I am in love with this. I want this. <laughs> I've already told my family that I want this for Christmas. I love this little heart shape holder and it comes with three of the most popular lifetime tools, which is the trowel, the cultivator, and the right-handed Cape Cod weeder. I think that these are fantastic. It's made from steel and ash hardwood. And again, all of these tools are guaranteed for the lifetime. So of course, that's a little bit more expensive of a gift. But if you really want to get someone special, something that they're going to love, this is a fantastic option for them. Okay, number six gifts for the gardener is actually gardening books. I think all gardeners love reading about gardening, watching about gardening, 
talking about gardening, all that kind of stuff. And I think that giving some really good gardening books to a gardener is something that will always be appreciated. I wanted to show you all a couple of some of my favorite ones, ones that I've been reading this past year and loving. Of course, the Cool Flowers book. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I talk about this book all the time. It is an amazing, amazing book for all levels of gardeners by Lisa Mason Ziegler. And I will again leave the links in the description down below. Next, we have Dan Pearson Home Ground Sanctuary in the City. I am obsessed with this book. It is so, the pictures are so incredibly beautiful. I absolutely love him. I love what he has to say about gardening. Um, and there's so many great tips. I cannot read this book without taking notes on every, basically every page because I am just so enthralled with what he has to say about gardening and garden design and plant selection and all that kind of stuff. So this is a really great option. Then then we have The Informed Gardener. This is kind of a smaller, easy, like day read book, but it's really, really interesting. It's all about myths in the gardening world. Um, I love the look of this book. I think it's something that you could definitely leave out and it's, it's just beautiful. It's a good book to have. And then two more, we have the Well-Tempered Garden by Christopher Lloyd, and then The Dry Garden by Beth Chatto. This one I think is really helpful if uh, you guys live anywhere where there's drought, like <laughs> I live in California. This one is all about planting without relying on water too much. I think that the ultimate goal is to not have irrigation. Of course, that's I don't think that that's possible for here in California, um, but you know, if you live in an area that gets a little bit more rain, possibly you could, the, following this book, you can garden uh, without needing too much supplemental water. So a gardening book is a fantastic gift for the gardener. Again, I'll leave all these links in the description down below. Okay, next gift are the galvanized seed saver kits from Gardener Supply Company. These come in two sizes, the smaller sized one and then the deluxe one, which is actually the one that I have and love. I love these kits, one, because I feel like it is household decor. I think it's absolutely beautiful, the galvanized metal, and they are so useful keeping your seeds all together. I used to keep my seeds in just a cardboard box that it was delivered in, and it was just such a mess. And once I got the seed saver kit, everything's nice and organized. It comes with its own envelopes and its own divider systems, and I use mine to death. It also comes in a smaller size. It's about $40. The deluxe one, I think, is about $70. Yes, $70. Um, and I just think that they're an, an absolute fantastic gift for your gardener. Okay, number eight are actually snips. Now, I think pruners are more personal and you wanna get the pruner you want. It's something that a gardener is probably gonna to wanna to pick out themselves. But I think that snips are kind of um, a little bit more universal and you don't have to worry about them being so personal. So I actually bought these bonsai snips for my mom, of course, all these stuff I bought for my mom. I just think that these are so incredible beautiful. I think they're going to be perfect for her to use for her house plants, for her seedlings in her garden. I think that they're gorgeous. So they come with this little, little leather case right here. And then they also came with micro bonsai snips as well. So these, this set is for bonsai plants. Um, that's, that's what these styles are for, but you obviously don't need to leave these, use these for bonsais. I love these micro snips right here. I want some of these so that I can use them when I'm thinning my seedlings. I think that they will be perfect. So I think that this is a really good set. It, it honestly wasn't that expensive. There are other um, bonsai snips that are super expensive and they come with their own little like gift box and things like that. Um, I don't know if you need to buy the most expensive ones. I actually haven't tried more expensive ones. The ones that I use all the time are the Felcos. What number is it? Um, Model 322 Felcos. Goes. I love those as well and I use them all the time and they're very helpful but I think that these will just uh, bring some art and class to it. Okay then the next gift is this adjustable leaf rake. Now I absolutely love this leaf rake. It is something that I didn't think I needed but 
now that I have it, I absolutely use it all the time. I love that you can open and close the tines as much as you need it and kind of get around the different shrubs that you have. Um, I know that this is really popular. Erin from the Impatient Gardener put it on her gift list as well. Um, and I just, I just think it would be a really great gift that somebody would really appreciate and enjoy. Okay, and then finally, number 10 on my gifts for the gardener is the Power Planter Home Gardener Starter Pack. I actually did a giveaway for this last week. I am absolutely in love with my Power Planter Starter Pack. It came with the two inch auger and the three inch auger and I absolutely use it all the time. Now, something to note is that 90% of homeowners actually have a cordless drill and this auger starter pack will fit with any cordless drill that you can get from the store. So pretty much guaranteed that whoever you're buying this gift for already has a cordless drill and will be able to use this auger starter kit. I am planning to do a video probably in January on the safety safety aspects and how to use the auger safely without you know twisting your wrist or anything like that. When I went to Chicago for the Proven Winners Creators Roundtable, they actually had the inventor of the power planter there and he did a whole presentation on how to use the auger safely and properly and I truly think that anybody that has trouble using an auger is just because they haven't set it up on their drill correctly. So keep, keep, stay tuned for that. I will have a video coming out with how to use the auger appropriately, but I do think that this starter pack is absolutely a fantastic gift. I think any gardener who doesn't realize that they need this, like me, <laughs> like I was before, will be so appreciative to have this as a gift. All right, you guys, so that is it. Those are my 10 recommendations for gifts for the gardener for 2022. I hope you all got some inspiration for gift ideas for the gardener in your life, or maybe even for yourself, if there's something that you are gonna ask for. Check the description down below for links to everything that I talked about. I hope you all enjoyed this. Stay tuned for tomorrow for day two of my Holidays in the Garden series, and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.